morning everybody. My name is Darlene and I have Parkinson's. Today's Make It Monday. Make It Monday today we're going to make Russian chicken. Now my brother of course when I told him I was making Russian chicken he asked me if that was the Canadian version of fast food. Russian. You know bad joke. Anyway there's my recipe. If you want to I'm going to put it in the description box but if you want to Take a screenshot. That was it. This is a super easy recipe. Of course, everything I make is super easy. Okay, it calls for Russian salad dressing. Our store didn't have any Russian. Closest I could find was Catalina. So you need one cup of Catalina. Well, or one cup of Russian is what you actually need. But this is close enough. You use Russian, French, Catalina, whichever one you want. All right. Okay, so there's the Catalina in there. Now, it also then calls for apricot preserves. So I've got the Smucker's apricot jam. And I need one cup of that. It'll be difficult to get out. All right, we'll do it this way. <laughs> Sorry, people. I can't hold on to anything. I drop it always. I've broken so many things. I've lost so many things. Under my chair is a great hiding place. Anything I've lost, it's usually under my chair. Just a second. One last good scoop. Well, no, I still need one more after that. That will do. Okay. Okay, that's my glass part finished, so I shouldn't drop anything more. I also sprayed my container with cooking spray and then I'm going to put the jam in in there this is a package of onions onion soup mix it's getting very difficult to do things with my fingers I uh, am having some issues with that there we go. Now, can you still see? Yes. I'm going to use the whisk, I think, to just mix it up a little bit easier. It seems like a kind of strange combination, but I've seen it made with um, not apricots, but cranberry jelly, and it's supposed to be really good too, but when I saw the version with the apricots, I thought that might be nice. So, now I said to my family when they were shopping for me to pick up a package with four chicken breasts. And was I ever shocked at the price of the four chicken breasts, but I was even more shocked when I opened the chicken breasts to find out that they were little skinny like they're, they're, they're cut in little tiny pieces. They're not even full chicken mm -hmm. breasts. It's craziness. But anyway, there's about six little, I'm going to move if you can see me. There. So there's about six little pieces in there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six little pieces. And then I'm going to just put this on the top of it. Now I'm going to serve this with rice 
and corn. Usually rice and peas is what I would normally do, but rice and corn is what I'm going to do tonight. I'm just going to go wipe my hands. I'm going to put, you put your on pause, pop this in the oven and come back and tell you a story. Be right back. I'm back. Okay, it's in the oven. It's going to stay in the oven for 45 to 60 minutes now because those are such skinny little ones. It's going to be 45 for sure, maybe even 35. So I'm just going to tell, hang on, i got to pause for a minute. I'm getting dizzy. Just a second. We're getting back. Sorry about that. Okay. Um, the story I was going to tell was uh, about a trip my mom had taken to Ireland. She took a trip. Um, Claudine would have been, oh, I guess Claudine would have been about 10 years old. And she just wanted to go home and see her family and whatnot. And dad didn't have time off work. So mom was going to go by herself. So away she went to Ireland and she had prepared lots of food in the freezer for my dad and everything else. But dad, immediately after she left, thought, I'm going to be lonely. I want to see her. So he decided to surprise her and go to Ireland. Not only that, but he phoned me and said, does Claudine have a passport? And I said, well, no, but I can get one. And he says, well, he says, there's a way of getting an emergency passport. And I said, yes. And he says, okay, well, can you get that? Because he says, I'm planning on leaving on Saturday, which was like another four days. I'm planning on leaving on Saturday to go to Ireland and surprise your mother. And I thought I'd take Claudine with me. I said, she's going to be home in two weeks. He says, oh, I got her an extra week's holiday. He said, he phoned her boss, got her an extra week's holidays. So I got a passport and the two of them flew off unbeknownst to them in Ireland that he was coming. Only my Uncle James knew, and he went to the airport to pick him up. Here, Mum was sitting in a room having coffee with a whole bunch of people, and who walks in the door? But my father and her granddaughter in their surprise. And she, it took her a minute to realize who was coming through the door, but they had a great vacation after that. They took Claudine on a lot of really good holidays. But anyway, that's my little story for today, how they surprised my mom over in Ireland. And I will come back when my supper is cooked and I'll show you what it looks like. Hi everybody, I'm back. Okay, it's just come out of the oven. I'm just gonna show everybody what it's like. We just have corn in this back pot. Everybody sees corn before. Everybody seen rice before. And this is the chicken, just like this. And then there's the sauce that you can put over top of your rice. So that's, that's called Russian chicken. It's very quick and easy. It tastes delicious. See you all tomorrow.